Hello everybody. We're going to discuss yet another problem with the moon phases today. I can be found on YouTube under Teeth of the Lamb, all one word, and on Facebook under Steve Matthews. Today is March 10th, 2019, and I'm going to try to get right into the topic of the day, which will be the Sea of Crises that can be seen at the center of all moon phases. And that's not possible under a globe model. And I'll show you why. Mainstream academia says that the moon doesn't spin, but under their model it has to, using their own diagrams. I'm going to show you here an old chart of moon phases. And you'll notice that the Sea of Crises, the round crater that's close to the edge of the uh, of the moon face, it's in every one of these, and it's on the right, and it's on the left. Now, that's just not possible in a, in a globe model. They've redrawn this, showing a different side and not putting the Sea of Crises on both, both uh, sides of it. Look very closely at the round crater close to the edge. It's facing both directions. And here I've put a blue dot on the Sea of Crises to make it easier for you. But that's very significant. And they say that the moon doesn't rotate. This is the Sea of Crises here. They say it doesn't rotate, but it has to. We see it rotate. And they say it's an optical illusion, it's field rotation, and blah, blah, blah. You know, I mean... They have a lot of excuses. These are four pictures I took myself from one location. They say that your location makes a big difference. It, the moon, the shadow on it, doesn't matter where you're at on the Earth. You're never going to get the Sea of Crisis in all four uh, sides of it. And that's what we have here. And I traveled not to the South Pole, not to the North Pole, or the equator. I traveled about 40 feet from my bed to the refrigerator and outside in my yard and took these pictures. This is how they break the um, shadow down. They say the moon is always shadowed on one side. It's locked in orbit. It's locked to the uh, with its face to the earth. And they give you a diagram. It's one of them I found. And when I started looking at it, I had, had it on my in my video here, and I started looking at it, and I said, that ain't right. <laughs> So what they're showing is in the center there, the white uh, and the black uh, moons, that the moon is only darkened on one side and from different angles we see it in different phases all the way around. And it shows you the phases. We're going to look at this diagram just a little bit more closely. Now remember your schooling that they say that the moon, its north is locked to our north, it's tidally locked with its face to the Earth, and it's locked in orbit as well. So it's all locked up. The moon's dark side is always its dark side. The sun shines on it only one direction, and it can't be changed. So here I put a blue dot on the Sea of Crises, and what we're looking for is can we see it in all phases? And here you'll see that they have it to where you can see on the lit side of the moon, you can see it in all phases. Now let's take another look a little bit closer at that. <laughs> that I know that's not right because that's not what I get in my pictures. Here's what they've done. In order to try to make this look more like reality, you'll find that you see the Sea of Crises almost always in the center, center of the lit side of the moon. And they've taken and switched the dark side with the light side. See the top arrow with the moon darkened on the right hand side and light on the on the left hand side. Now look at the three phases they have at the bottom there and arrowed. Uh, you'll see that they've switched the sides. You see with a fixed moon it's just not possible to have the Sea of Crises on both sides. It can't move and the shadow is fixed as well. And so they've really locked themselves in on this one. So I think we better make our own diagram based on what we are told. 
they rely on the fact that the average person is just going to believe anything that they say, and they're not going to look at it. But we're not the average person. So here, what I've done is taken one of my photos of the moon and placed it in the same direction all the way around. Remember that the moon is locked with its face toward the earth, and that they say it doesn't move or rotate, and that's not true to what we see. I've personally taken photos, not with this in mind, but I went back through my photos, and I have the Sea of Crises on the right, on the left, on the top, and on the bottom. Now that's a 360 degree rotation in my mind. Now I'll, I'll zoom in on what I've put on the screen here. And the Sea of Crises is on the, on the right at the top, and then you'll see that it's on the left at the bottom. And that seems like that would be exactly what they're saying is happening. But is it? Now here I put a blue dot on each one of them for you so you can see it better. And it looks like it might work. Now we're just addressing the Sea of Crises showing up on the right and the left today. We haven't even touched on why it shows up on the top and the bottom. So you can see it's, it's going to work. Just like they say, you'll be able to have it on the right and the left. But let's not give up quite that easily. I like to be thorough. I'll zoom back out so you can see what I've done. And this is the portion of the moon that we see from Earth. We only see that one side. And you can see, yep, the Sea of Christ is on, is on right and the left. And uh, it's looking like it's going to work if you're a quitter, and I'm not. It's like everything they do, when you follow it out to its conclusion, it crumbles. So let's put it the way they have it and apply their shadow to it. And whoa, now we only get half of them. And so it doesn't work. And it doesn't matter if you have the sea of crises on the right or the left, you still only get half. This is what we're supposed to have. Only half of them, and we can't see it all the way around in all the phases, but we see it, the sea of crises, in the center of the lit side on all phases. And so I'll, I've zoomed in here so you can see better what I've done. Half of them, it covers up the uh, sea of crises because the moon's face is fixed, and so is that shadow. It can't move. An angle or nothing's going to change that. We only get half of them. And so we can't have the Sea of Crises in the center of the lit side through all phases. Here are the pictures that I took from my front yard, one single location. So it appears that field rotation gives a 360 degree view of the moon. And that doesn't work, sound right either. So I've zoomed in on the four pictures so you can see them closer. The Sea of Crises is on the top here. And we go down, and the gray one, it's on, on the left, almost dead center. On the right, it's almost dead center. The round crater right close to the edge, that's where it's always at. It can't move into the center. There's another one that looks similar to it, but that's the Sea of Crises. And here it is, almost on the bottom. So, 360 degree turn, amazing for something that doesn't move or rotate. Here it is, I've marked the um, Sea of Crises with the blue dots so it's easier to tell where it is. And you can go back and look at them if you want to. Isn't this just amazing? It doesn't surprise me in the least that their garbage doesn't work out when you look at it closely. I encourage all of you Take your own photos and look at them yourself and see where that round sea of crises right on the edge, where it's located in your photographs. And try to get them in different phases. And you'll see what I'm showing you here is absolutely true. And then you got to ask, if the moon is fixed and the shadow's fixed, 
how is this possible? And I know that they'll come up with some stupid excuse. Well, it's on a we're on a tilt, and the moon is elliptical in its orbit, and it depends on what longitude and latitude you are on the Earth when you view it. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, that's a bunch of hogwash. It doesn't that none of that stuff is going to change the fact that we're getting a 360 degree rotation out of that moon. And it's not perspective, it's not field rotation, and it's not your location on Earth. It's just flat out moving, and they can't stand that. And using their own data and their own charts and their own parameters, it proves that we can only see the Sea of Crises on one side half the time and never see it on the other side. So there you have it. I encourage all of you to look at your own photos, and if you have it on the right and the left, it's not possible. And if you have it on the top and the bottom, that's not possible. And if you like what I've just shown you today, please like and subscribe. And everybody have a darn nice day.